Have you ever seen someone's link in bio and thought to yourself, wow, that's so perfect. How did they do that? Or you've wanted something that you could completely customize and make it exactly what you want. Well, this week, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect 100% customized link in bio that you can use anywhere and update or change regularly. So let me start by saying the link in bio that I'm going to show you how to create is actually a bio link website in Canva. Don't be intimidated and don't hop out of the video. Stick with me because this is actually super easy. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So we're going to start on the Canva homepage and in the search box, we're going to type in bio link websites. Click enter you'll get 44 different templates. And normally I'm all about creating my own stuff, but in this case, this is not something I'm selling. And why reinvent the wheel when you have the templates? So scroll through, find one that you like, and when you pick one, click on it. This page will open, click customize this template. So now what you're going to do is completely customize this. I'm going to change this yellow to my brand color, and then I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to delete them. They're not my brand. They don't work. Um, and so what I would like to do is insert a picture, grab that picture, pull this over, and I'm going to put it kind of like right in the middle. Now I'm, I like things to be super friendly. So I'm going to add a heading here. Whoops, helps if I spell it right. And it needs to be a little bigger. And I think I'm going to change the font so that it just stands out a little better. And just go through and find the font you want to use. I think I'm going to go with my old tried and true here. And then make it a little bigger so that it kind of big enough to read and centered over the picture and then change it to the brain color. Then what I want to do is I'm going to just control D and copy that text box, bring it down underneath and I'm going to type in my name. Now for this one, I really want it to look more like a signature. So I'm going to use my favorite for my signature. Then I'm going to Control D one more time. And this time I'm going to make this much smaller and I'm going to type in what I do. And I'm going to change this font to something very easy to read. I want it clear and just super easy to read. And I really think it needs to be smaller. So just shrink that up. So this block looks good. Now for the tabs on the right, every week I like to update my link in bio so that when I publish a new video, I can link that in my bio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this frame kind of as a placeholder and make things just easier as I go forward with it. Now that's kind of the basic outline that I want to, to use. So I'm going to go back to the color box for this tab and I'm going to put it more on brand and then I will take the text and make that more on brand use my font and then I'm going to do the next tab Okay, now it's time to start linking everything. For this tab, I'm going to link all of this to my website. And actually what I might wanna do is switch these two. 
Okay, now it's time to start linking everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text box. I'm going to go to the link box and I'm going to insert where I want that link to take people. And then I'm also going to link this icon and then I'm going to select this box and duplicate it. I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to change this color and I'm also going to link this box as well. That way, if somebody clicks around the text, it will still take them where they want to go. There we go. Okay, now for this one, we're going to link this one to our website. So click the link button, put in your website, and now take that underline off, and then click the icon and link it. And then same thing with this box for the tab, link it. And then we will do the same thing with each one of these boxes. Speed through that really quick. Okay, so everything is customized. Now we're ready to publish. So we're going to click the publish button and we're going to get this menu. We don't need navigation. Um, I'm just going to use the free domain, so I'm going to click continue. And now you want to customize your URL. Put in the Canva nerd for my URL. And I'm going to put in a website description. And you don't want to enable password protection. Um, if you want to hide it from search engines, you can. And now click publish. Okay, so your website is published. So what you want to do now is click the copy button here and then insert this link anywhere that you need a link in bio. So for example, go into your Instagram. This is going to be your website that you um, list there. And then when people click on your link in bio, that this is what they get. And let's view the website and you can see that, you know, things are linked and it will take you right to where you have linked your tabs. And that's how easy it is to make your perfect link in bio. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course, to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of Canva with video tutorials and a full workbook, all free. Of course, I'll also leave the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. You'll also find a link to my 223 Canva Elements Keywords ebook, to help you find some amazing hidden element gems. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.